Now, it's been a tea time at Staple for decades, but it's going home time for Grange Hill. The BBC's announced it's axing the children's soap after 30 years on the air. The Beeb says the programme no longer reflects the lives of school children in contemporary Britain. In its place will be things like special editions of Newsround, tackling divorce and knife crime. Well, joining me now is John Bangs, the Head of Education at the NUT. Hello, John. Hello, hi. So what are your memories of Grange Hill and how well do you think it reflected life in schools? Well, I'm not sure it reflected it accurately, but it did actually hitch onto a zeitgeist. Just remember that when it came in in the late 70s, there was no national curriculum, no national curriculum testing, no uh, heavy duty school inspection, teachers weren't under the cosh. There was a real sense of joie de vivre, and also it concentrated on children themselves, on youngsters themselves. And a lot of the recent programs on schools would be very much focused on teachers. I think it is the passing of an era, and it probably says something about the fact that schools themselves have rarely changed, and they've also rarely changed in relation to society. Society has changed, and that's affected schools. So you touched upon it there. How do you think life in school has changed for children then? Well, what's different today for today's kids? Well, I think, uh, I think the structures of school are much stronger. I think um, uh, there are expectations that all lessons have a proper lesson plan, uh, you'll, set, you'll set the objectives, teachers are, ex are, are accountable. Uh, there's a sense that uh, actually uh, the sort of spontaneity of teaching life and therefore spontaneity for young people is kind of not fully evaporated, but a lot of it has gone. And that spontaneity was picked up at the beginning by Grange Hill. It was almost as if it was uh, EastEnders in school. And do you think this is a good move then, axing the programme? Because it did deal with some tough storylines, um, including things yeah, like drugs and teenage pregnancy in a way children related to. I, I think it did. I think, uh, I, I think it's the passing of an era. I think it's inevitable. I think uh, stories do get tired and they fade out. But what I do think is important is that the kind of original um, impetus behind Grange Hill, which, which to be honest was, you know, let's have some fun, you know, uh, let's, let's try and recreate all the fun things we used to uh, do in class and with teachers and all the rest of it. That kind of uh, joie de vivre still needs to be held on to. And I think what we need to, I think any, whichever TV channel it is, needs to actually uh, concentrate on what it's really like in school for young people with the humour and wit as well as the heavy duty issues as well.